Hi, I'm Rafa, I'm from Mexico, and you're watching Porn for Lou. Good morning, guys. Today is day two of our Mayan ruin explorations. And I just wanted to show you this before we head downstairs. This is my view from my hotel room. How amazing is that? Good morning, Mexico. Good morning. You guys ready for more Mayan exploring? Oh, yeah. Yes. Thanks to Loom, this is the beach side. Waterfront resort of the Maya. <laughs> in the van for like an hour and a half and we've just arrived in Tulum which is another Mayan ruins but it's uh, a little bit more commercial here apparently it's kind of set up as a real kind of tourist destination second coffee of the day oh that's good Guys, this is our transportation. I think we're going to be driving through like a river. Look at this. This is nuts. You guys excited? Yes. Beautiful place. Beautiful place. It's a good beach. It's kind of nuts to stuck that I wore sandals. I feel like it should be wrong. Oh, yeah. It's going to be like wellies, yeah? Always consider, yeah. Always consider your footwear, guys. We are destroying the trees. <laughs> Literally branches are breaking off these trees. Oh, oh wait, ready for this, ready for this. I know, it feels very fun. This is a very sacred tree for the Mayan community. It's called a Seva tree and uh, it's green. You can look closely. The bark is actually green, which is crazy. But the, um, the belief is that there's a massive one of these trees that kind of connects the underworld and the earth and the heavens in the kind of uh, Mayan folklore. But I've never seen a tree like that. That is cool, that one over there. That looks sick. I think the coolest thing about these ruins is that they are right on the beach, check this out. Bad boy iguanas. So I learned something today, guys. Apparently, you don't say Mayan. It's actually Mayan, and even then, apparently it's not Mayan, it's Maya. So I'm so confused, because I've always said like the Mayan calendar, but apparently that's totally incorrect pronunciation. Always learning something new. This is an almond tree? Yeah, and then you take a stone, well we used to take a stone and, and crack that, and the almond is inside and you eat it. Can wow. we please open it? No oh, thanks, um, looks yeah. a little sandy. Okay. What those? <laughs> Guys, this is the almond fruit and I'm going to taste the flesh, apparently you can eat the outside. Wow! That's actually really tasty. Let's crack it? Yeah. Mm. Do they have these in there? Oh yeah. 
And most of the time they end up crushing it, unfortunately. So we use a hammer. But the, so how ah, do they get those? <laughs> so there it is, and I actually crushed it, so... Eh. Oh so that's the almond nut. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Wow. Carmen's making so, breakfast uh, for us. Yum. Yum. Mm. Yeah. That's really good. Really good. Really good. But guys, check out the spikes on this tree. Hey, those are nuts. Oh, wow, they would do some serious damage. So it's quite interesting, the buildings that we were just looking at, they are about 600 years later than the ones we were at yesterday. And the reason they're smaller is because they didn't have as much money or resources. And it was kind of the tail end of the Mayan culture and civilization, and it's just before the Spanish colonized Mexico. We're stopping at a local establishment for some lunch. Oh, I'm feeling this music. Yeah. Time. Oh yeah. All right. Guys, this is fresh pineapple juice. It's so amazing. journeys have been so good guys because whilst we're driving I just find spots to lay down. I've just got this perfect spot on the floor here. It means I can just catch up with a bit of sleep. I'm really adopting the siesta kind of vibe from uh, Latin American culture. Right, we literally headed upstairs, grabbed a few bits, we're jumping straight back in the minibus and now we're heading for I think a spa treatment, I'm not entirely sure. But it sounds great. robes on and we're about to head down to this kind of ritual ceremonial sauna thing I don't really know what it is um, could be quite an interesting experience We've done the ritual part of it and now we're climbing in that little hut and it's going to be really hot in there. I want to go back in. I'm not done. Although yeah. I got aloe vera in my eyeballs, which kind of burns. <laughs> that was just like a sauna. I feel, I feel great. I love heat so much. Oh. Strawberry, oh, like a strawberry and a plum. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Mango. All right. Check this Jedi out. Right, we've just come in after that amazing experience and I found a jacuzzi at long last. I've been searching for one of these for, for days and jumped straight in here. Oh, that is what I'm talking about. Look for your eyes. Look for your eyes. <laughs> 
spicy dish and they've given me this and they said it's actually really spicy so this is spicy fish oh it's got a good kick cheers cheers that's a crazy cappuccino Another amazing day in Mexico. Tomorrow, guys, is a very, very special day. Basically, some of you may have noticed, but my channel is extremely near to a million subscribers. Now, I'm not sure tomorrow where I'm gonna be, how many subscribers I'm gonna have, but the timing works out that I have got this incredible opportunity to tick off one of the highest things on my bucket list which is to swim with a whale shark and it's my last full day in Mexico so I'm going to do it tomorrow as a celebration for hitting a million even if it's slightly preempted um, and I'm just super excited but we have got to get up very early it's I think like a 6 30 a.m. or 6 o'clock wake up time um, so I'm going to head to sleep now and I'll catch you tomorrow for my 1 million subscriber celebration video. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.